Here's the thing, though. Despite the apparent faults of Proctor, there is a case here. Prosecutors say Reed hit O'Keefe with her SUV, left him for dead after a night drinking, and her vehicle's taillight was broken, and pieces of the taillight were found outside of the house that she dropped O'Keefe off at. And there's also claims she confessed to hitting him. And there's other evidence, too. So the question is, should she testify. Well, joining me right now is Jared Ferentino, a former homicide prosecutor with over 20 years of experience and host of True Crime Boss. He has been following the story very closely. Look, uh, you asked me, Reed wants to testi uh, testify. I, I think she's raised enough reasonable doubt at this point about the investigation, the outcome, where she doesn't need to. But what do you think? First of all, I'm sweating watching that Proctor testimony back again. Great to see you, Jesse. I yep. think that the risk isn't worth the reward. If you're watching this trial and keeping score, the defense is already up. They've punched enough holes. They've got their narrative out there, and they haven't even started yet. I mean, we're still on the Commonwealth's case. And in my opinion, they've raised enough reasonable doubt that the Commonwealth is coming in behind. Now they're going to call their experts, and the big question is whether or not they need Karen. Karen's testimony and her version of events is already out there. You don't need her to tell her story. So, and look, so, well, let me ask you that. Let me ask you that, Jared, Jesse. because she says she wants to fill in some holes, some correct some lies. What do you think those are? Well, I think she wants the opportunity to explain some of what was said about maybe the fact that she is claimed to have said she hit him, some of the things that have been said about her and this whole thing and fill in some lies. But the reality is there's a little deflection there. She's saying it's her attorney's decision to make the call. She's really not owning the fact that it's probably not yeah. in her best interest and ultimately she's going to be the one to make the call. Now, look, the prosecution, as I said, they do have a case. I want to put this up. This is going to be an FS1. This is full screen one. Um, because jurors on Monday, they were shown these text messages between Reed and O'Keefe. Um, this was the morning before his death. You have really hurt me this time. Tell me if you're interested in someone else. Then this is number two. Um, these are more texts. Can you please admit your head is out of the game with us? O'Keefe responds, sick of always arguing and fighting. It's been weekly for several months now. So now you have this idea of a motive. You have the idea that she Remember, when they're driving around the morning after, she knew automatically where he was. She spotted his body before anybody else she was riding along with. So there's some evidence here that she did it. Now, there could be all this other stuff about the investigation and problems with the investigator, but the prosecution does have a relatively strong case, no? They do, but given those texts, if Karen Reed gets back up there, she may be able to explain them, but when Yanetti gets back up, the DA, he gets to cross-examine and hammer her on those texts. So the jury's gonna continue to hear them. Here's the other thing I noticed about Karen Reed. She has a tough time holding her emotions in check. She's very expressive in court. And the reality is Yanetti is going to try to get a rise out of her, to get her emotional and maybe say something that she hasn't rehearsed or that is more spontaneous. And that's something that could end up hurting her. That's the risk with putting Karen Reed on the stand here. Real quick, 15 seconds. The defense wants to call an expert about apparent dog bites that, that O'Keefe might have gotten dog attack, be attacked by a dog, not that he was hit by a car. Thoughts real quick? My thoughts are, if they can get an expert on there with a straight face to say the wounds on O'Keefe are consistent with a dog bite or a scratch, it's going to help their case. It's just chipping away at the Commonwealth. It's it's a roller coaster. I'm flip flopping every second on this one. As it, a juror, so should be too, Jesse. Yep, there we go. Jared Ferentino, good to see you. Thanks for coming on. You too. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your cable provider, and don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.